Hi everyone, this is Raphael from SideQuest Studios. In this video I'm going to show you some of the core elements of Rainbow Moon, our new role-playing game coming soon for PlayStation 3. In Rainbow Moon you explore a really large and open world, consisting of four main continents, lots of islands and more than 20 challenging dungeons. Make sure to allow for sufficient time on your calendar, as this game will keep you busy for around 40 hours, just for the main story alone. But that's far from all. If you want to complete all the optional side quests, dungeons, end game content, and level up all your party members to the max, and unveil all the hidden stuff that we have squeezed into the game, you will hardly get it done in under a hundred hours. Your journey will take you from the snowy hills of Morden down to the fiery deserts of Tafar, unlocking your own ship and discovering lots of additional quests and challenges. When you start Rainbow Moon for the first time, you can choose between two difficulty modes, Normal and Hard. Normal is the default difficulty setting, which is recommended for most of the players. Hard, on the other hand, is suitable for the more experienced player, and especially those that aren't shy of spending some extra time leveling up and grinding. You can select from one of the four available playstyles. Careful and Secured will get you some startup equipment, while Adventuresome is the right choice for those who want to start out with absolutely nothing. It's a little harder in the beginning, but there's rumor of a hidden benefit. A short introduction movie will give you an insight into the story. Cursed by his arch-rival Nemoris, Baldwin finds himself warped to an unknown and strange place called Rainbow Moon. Alongside, Rainbow Moon has also been swamped by all kinds of evil creatures. Woken up in front of a warp portal on Kassar Island, Baldwin needs to find out what has happened and figure out a way back to return home. You will then take control of Baldrin and your first task is to speak to the people of Rainbow Moon. If you feel kind of lost or if you don't know what to do, don't worry as we have implemented a number of very helpful tools that will guide you along the way. First of all, by pressing the square button, you can open up your map. Your map looks pretty empty in the beginning, but whenever you visit new places, it will automatically be filled with more details. One crucial information on your map is the location of your next main quest relevant person. The first person that you should visit is Merida, a furious guy who has trouble cutting wood, and he gives you the first indication of what to do next. As soon as you have finished talking to Merida, a message appears informing you about a quest update. In this case, Merida told you about Serathrod, a person who seems to have gone missing. I guess this is a good starting point on what to do next. In the unlikely event that you wish to take a longer break from the game, you can not only check your map again, but also read up your main quest log, which contains sufficient information to bring you right back into the game. Apart from the main quest updates, there are also more than 60 side quests that you can solve along the way. Information about your currently active and already solved side quests can also be looked up in your side quest log. We have also implemented a tutorial system that will guide you throughout the game. Whenever you encounter something new, a tutorial message will appear explaining all the details. Let's say for example if you jump into your first fight, the battle tutorial will come right up. And once again, best of all, you can check back on any unlocked tutorial at any time. So don't sweat, we have really implemented a lot of features that are there to help you and guide you. That's all for now. Make sure to watch out for Rainbow Moon on PlayStation Store this July.